Okay, this is uh, part two of this uh, series on these uh, RFID tags, radio frequency identification tags. And uh, the first one uh, I did uh, was a replication of Granddad's uh, experiment where he took the, uh, the coil and attached wires to it and made a pulse motor run. And I found these particular ones um, on the internet and bought some uh, that were tuned to the 13.56 megahertz. Uh, very interesting subject to study, these new radio frequency identification tags. But anyway, I wanted to see if it would work on this crystal oscillator uh, that I built back in uh, 2018 that ran on that um, magic uh, 13.5. 5, 6 megahertz. I can't really see that. The camera's not focusing, but uh, I did this back in 2018, and um, maybe you can freeze frame this um, and study the circuit. But this was something I, I worked a lot with with Dr. Stifler and then uh, G. Bluer on his um, Slayer Exciter. It was the same kind of thing where you're using a high frequency um, to excite the local area around the oscillator. And this was one of the ones that I built, which ran at 13.56 megahertz, and uh, back in 2018. But here, here it is. I restored it. I found the parts and put it back together again. And this is this um, little uh, RFID radio frequency identification tag that's acting as a receiver for the um, energy coming off of this oscillator. See that lighting up there? And there's this very specific way this thing works. It uses two switching diodes, one in 914 switching diodes that pulls the energy off of um, all over the circuit and then um, rectifies it basically and makes it be able to power something. Now in these little things here, there's an uh, integrated circuit, an IC circuit that's powered by the 13.56 megahertz oscillator, obviously, on the reader. And uh, that's what I've basically got here, is I've got the, uh, the reader oscillator that's sending the energy to this um, coil to be able to pick up the energy and then turn the energy into an electrical current that would run the integrated circuit in, in, the, um, in the tag. But this is rather complicated. I, I can't do it in a short video. And like I, I spent years studying this stuff with uh, Dr. Stifler and G. Bloor and, and some other people. But that's this tag, which is a pickup coil, basically. Only it's not induction. This does not work off of induction. This works off of an electrostatic type of uh, field. Now I would imagine the Tesla coil kind of stuff might activate this too. And I'm going to, I've got some little mini Tesla coils. I might try this on it too. But this particular one, the reason I bought these is these were specifically turned, tuned to this um, 13.56 megahertz and I have a crystal there that is the 13.56 megahertz crystal that's being used to run this um, oscillator at a specific frequency and here again that's what uh, makes the magic come out. And I did a, a video called uh, magic at 13.56 megahertz and uh, this is this is that oscillator that uh, is doing that and like I say I, um, it's a very fascinating uh, subject if you want to delve into this type of uh, electrical uh, energy transfer uh, this thing here is what's called an AV plug or Averminkel plug which is the two diodes connected at one end uh, one's going up and one's going down like a plus and a minus going to an LED and you can see that uh, it picks up this um, energy in a really strange way. And uh, this thing here is doing the same thing, but uh, an AV plug will do it too. 
Anyway, that's the latest with this uh, radio identification tag um, experiment series that I'm doing. A lot of fun. And thanks again for Granddad for um, doing the first series that he did on that thing. Thanks for watching.